This video will demonstrate the motor learn procedure on the KEB F5 elevator drive with the version 3.21 serial LCD keypad operator. In general, the motor data learn should be done for any induction geared motor or any permanent magnet gearless motor during the general startup process. So here we start on the home screen. Next we want to get navigate to the programming menu with the F3 hotkey and then scroll down to the tune parameter group and press enter and go to the LL01 motor tuning press enter and then press enter to adjust into start mode so then the drive will then display some of the, the the basic items that need to be done for the motor learn so you will Prior to the, doing the motor learn, you would have already need to put in the relevant motor data for the rated motor current, voltage, speed, frequency, power, and torque. And here, what the first step is you need to disable the brake, either by disabling a brake wire or reducing the voltage in the, the, the pick voltage of the brake in the controller. Secondly, for serial and analog speed control, you'll need to set the um, command speed in the controller to zero. And this is to prevent any speed following faults on the controller because the drive will clamp the command speed at zero during this process. And then press give the uh, inspection run command to start the process. So the drive will start generally by measuring the inductance, which is indicated by the L, and then the S indicates the stator, and it measures the inductance at various frequencies. In addition, it uh, also will measure the resistance and then um, the dead time. It's uh, the time between the, the switching of the transistors. Generally, the loudest portion of the, the learn will be the inductance learn at the beginning. Um, generally, once it gets past that point, it should be relatively quiet. The entire process will take appro approximately three to five minutes. So you can see that the, the drive takes the measurements at uh, various frequencies as well. When complete, the drive will say that it's finished. And then from there, you can press escape, and then the corresponding learned motor data will be saved in the, the motor data parameters. And we'll return to the home screen. And the process at that point is complete.